My precious, it's me. Call him, call him. Let me go. Let me do the video. And I'm here to entertain you people to talk about the new Lord of the Rings show. Call him, call him. All right, enough of that. Uh, let's discuss. Lord of the Rings will be coming out September 2nd, 2022. Not only does it have an official release date, but it's also gotten a teaser. We know that this show is going to be called The Rings of Power, and in this video, I'm going to break down the brief little teaser we got. Uh, please, if you enjoy these videos and you want me to make more Lord of the Rings content, slap a like on this video. The like goal is going to be... Got him, got him. 69! Oh, my little precious. Alright, so the teaser pretty much starts like how we knew it would, which is like, uh, not actual characters and what they look like. There have been leaked images and official pictures that were released, but this is a teaser. and We have a voiceover actress telling us how there are different rings made for the different races, right? So nine for the mortal men doomed to die, and one for the Dark Lord and Mordor. Well, here's the thing. I thought this was kind of interesting. If you don't want Mordor to have a ring, why don't you just not make him one? I'm just kidding. We all know that that's not how the story goes. And of course, if it did go that way, well, we wouldn't really be getting the TV show now, would we? Uh, I will say that, I, and I want you all watching this because I'm sure you all are probably more so my subscribers and not someone who clicked on this video for the Lord of the Rings content. If you are, welcome. Please subscribe. But do you personally... Because I'm sure, you know, since I mostly cover A Song of Ice and Fire and darker fantasy series on this channel, I I'm sure my subscribers are more uh, attracted towards darker fantasy types, uh, grimdark or however you say it in the high fantasy subgenre. Uh, do, you, do you think it would be too much of a problem, right? Trying to figure out which way to turn to get rid of. We'll just do that. Uh, do you think it would be too much of a problem if we did see some elf titties or maybe some hobbit sacks? And I don't mean their feet. Like, hear me out. If we're going to expand upon Lord of the Rings and try to entice an entire, uh, we'll say an older generation that skipped out on the movies, right, from the early 2000s when I was a teenager, Lord of the Rings was my introduction into fantasy, right? Do you think it would be smarter to do that to attract the older audience who skipped Lord of the Rings and then also the younger audience who may not have grown up with the movies? Or do you think they should stay true to Tolkien's work and exclude that? Sex scenes and nudity aren't included in his books. And a lot of people think that, you know, since the, the, the movies... And a lot of people consider them the most successful adaptation of all time. To maybe down below in the comment section. I think the first season of Game of Thrones is. But do you think they should stay faithful to that? Because that's honestly the heart and the source material of this. And you don't necessarily need to show titties to tell a good story. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Personally, I would love to see some elven titties. I, I just... I understand uh, the sentiment behind wanting to stay tr true to the source material. I just think it would be interesting to see a different side of... Uh, you know, the Lord of the Rings universe. Now, just to kind of touch on a little bit of background for this, this new Lord of the Rings show isn't a remake of The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings. This actually takes place in an entirely different period known as the Second Age of Middle-earth. It's actually thousands of years before the events of The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. Uh, this series will reportedly follow an ensemble cast of characters, and they will confront the reemergence of evil, a.k.a. Sauron, in Middle-earth. Now, Sauron for this series, uh, in, in general, is said to be something, like, evilly beautiful, right? Now, those are terrible choice for words to describe him. But basically, at this time, Sauron goes around corrupting different uh, places throughout Middle-earth. Now, Sauron actually creates the Ring Wraiths and the Rings of Power during this time. Uh, the Second Age is known for, like, the last alliance between Elves of Men, where they basically banded together to defeat Sauron. Now, uh, he does corrupt a lot of Numenor. Numenor is basically this big-ass island west of Middle-earth, um, and it's referred to as the greatest civilization of men. So this show will be about the downfall of Numenor. Now, since this series is set thousands of years before the main uh, set of movies, it's kind of, like, gonna be totally different. Like, a few of the characters are still alive. Sauron's younger during this time period. But for the most part, we don't have as much information about this time period as we do about the main one, where Frodo is trying to destroy the ring, right? 
It's going to be amazing. You all let me know how excited you are about the show down below in the comment section. I'm going to get out of here. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. And my name's... Please, slap a like on Mr. C's video.